Okay, good. So, uh, all right, so I think you're on the right track. So, yeah, how can we use that equation? We just plug everything in. Right? Let's plug everything in. Okay, so what, what do we get when we do that? 4.35 Yeah, we, we should have really written that down a long time ago that we're trying to figure out V source. How did you know this should be a plus sign? Because F prime is smaller than F. And why does that mean we need a plus? Because it's, it's a little bigger denominator. Yeah, we need a big denominator to make a small fraction. So it really is very important to keep track of who's smaller and who's bigger. This is kind of like when we're working on relativity. We have to figure out who's the smaller and who's the bigger. Okay, so you're just doing the calculations. That's yeah. good. We multiply the two things in the numerator to get a new numerator. Good. So 1.3 times 10 to the 23rd. So that's what you get when you multiply 4.35 times 10 to the 14th times 3 times 10 to the 8th. And then you also multiply 4.35 times 10 to the 14th times Vs. OK, and now we have to continue. So let me see, 0.57 times 10 to the 23rd, 7 times 10 to the 21st. Okay, that's right. So now. And that divides by 1.3. Good. So yeah, now we do uh, this calculation. You subtract 1.3 times 10 to the 23rd from both sides to get this. 1.6 times 10 to the 7th. solving and we get what are the units on that? Oh, meters per second. Okay, good. Uh, okay, good. 
Now, uh, I guess that's the answer. They were asking us for, uh, oh, they wanted the direction and magnitude of the radial motion. So what's the answer? So the direction is away. Yeah, that's what we saw here. Um, we saw that, uh, remember I had, when I had the car before, I was assuming the car was moving to the right. So we're assuming the galaxy is moving to the right the here. The magnitude is 1.6. That's right. Okay. Um, all right. So um, here's an equation you might want in your cheat sheet since it's on the sample exam for the Doppler effect. How do you know not to use the relativity like equation here at the length one? Yeah, that's a good uh, question. Well, first of all, I don't think we are measuring lengths. There are no lengths. Oh uh, yeah. And there are no times. Right? Relativity is good when you're doing lengths and times, but there's no lengths or times here. So that's one uh, point. Um, the big thing here is they started with diffraction. Well, I, I guess the big thing here is, first of all, you guys haven't learned how to do the Doppler effect with relative, relativity. So actually, this equation only works when there is no relativity. This equation only works when relativity is not important. You guys haven't gone over the Doppler effect equation when there is relativity. So you kind of have to, have to assume relativity is not important here. By the way, wh when is relativity important? When we're moving fast or slow? Yeah, compared to the speed of light. Well, notice that this was moving at around 10 to the 7th. But what's the speed of light? 10 to the 8th. So this is way smaller than the speed of light. So relatively, it didn't turn out to be important here, which is good, because otherwise this formula um, would not have been uh, appropriate. The key thing here is you're just kind of expected to know that the way astronomers figure out how fast things are moving relative to the Earth is the Doppler effect. Okay. And you haven't gone over relativity for the Doppler effect. So we should just say, ah, this is astronomy. We're doing uh, the Doppler effect. In order to use this, we need to know frequencies. Uh -huh. um, so uh, how can we find the frequencies? Well, we can find the frequencies from the wavelength using this equation. But how did we find the wavelength? Well, they said it was diffraction. So we used our diffraction equation over here. Uh, and the one thing that would give people trouble is they said there was 500 lines per millimeter. And we saw that you have to divide 1 divided by those 500 lines to find d. We went over that before. But also, all of our work would have been in vain if we hadn't gone into meters. So you always have to do all the unit conversions as well. But this is obviously another question that has to, you have to repeat before you can learn to put all the different pieces together here. Yeah. So with, there was three big equations we used here. The diffraction grading equation gave us lambda. Then V equals F lambda gave us the frequencies. And then we have the Doppler effect equation. 